welcome to the blog pundit where i speak my mind and you can say yours you can hate me but don't hate football let's get right into it Tottenham. Tottenham lost the first game to Watford. Now, while Son was jubilating his exemption from military service, his team was actually losing to Watford. And you can actually imagine the faces of the Arsenal fans right now. Check out the faces of the Arsenal fans and check out the faces of the Tottenham fans right now. <laughs> anyway, on a more serious note now though, I think Watford are actually the real good this season. And I'm not just saying that because they're in the third position, but I've actually watched them play. Man, they play very exciting football. So do you guys think that the real deal or is it just an early season rush? Let me have your thoughts on that. The story of Liverpool. When one African stops scoring, the other African takes over. It's as simple as that. Now they will have come out of that game on scat. If not for Alisson. Wait, Alisson, what were you doing in that game? Seriously. If not because Alisson thought he was Noya. Oga, you are Alisson, not Noya. Okay, stick to what you can do. He literally dribbled his way into trouble. And do you know why I'm really angry? People will wonder, am I a Liverpool? I'm not a Liverpool fan. But I'm pissed off because I have him on fantasy. And I lost points because of that stupidity. Arsenal versus Cardiff. Arsenal almost gave me a heart attack. As usual. Why? Because they allowed Cardiff to score the first two goals of the campaign. They had not scored against any other team, but they had to wait for Arsenal to score against Arsenal. But in the end, Arsenal came out on top. That's all that matters, right? Thanks to a wonderful header from Mustafi. That kind of header that's gonna give you a headache. I'm pretty sure I have to take some paracetamol after that game because man, that header was powerful. And Ogbama Yang, oh my goodness, he made me to remember King Henry. You know what I'm talking about? The only Igwe in the world that we have. And that last goal from Lacazette, oh my goodness. That was a thunderous strike. That kind of strike that's gonna tear the net. My goodness, we came out good. That's all that matters. Manchester United. I can't not talk about Mourinho. I've been on this case for the last two weeks now and I just have to continue. You see, this was Mourinho last week. And this is Mourinho this week. Spot the difference. <laughs> How much can a win do to a man? This was a man that was vibing so hard and was so angry last week. But now he was all smiles with the same press. <sighs> well, enough about Mourinho. I'm not going to go on this case today. I think for me, the main highlight of that game was Rashford getting his red card. I was having an argument with my friend Casey, and he's also my coach. And in his own opinion, he felt that that was like two Rams fighting. <laughs> Do you guys agree? Because I saw it differently. This is how I saw it. Love. Yes, two men making love on the pitch. Chelsea. Chelsea had to leave it late with some goals from Pedro and Hazard. But you know what I said last week? They are silently winning games, and we need to take them seriously. And to make matters even worse, Alonso again gave another assist. You know what? Sarri said he's the best left back in Europe. Do you agree? I think he has a point, even if he's not exactly accurate. He has a point because this guy keeps scoring goals from last season and always finding himself in attacking position. Guess what? Even Hazard said he has told Alonso that he should remember that he's a left back because he keeps seeing him in his front on the pitch. A left back that doesn't stay back is always in front. If I read that to change Gareth Bale, to a left midfielder. Is it time for Sari to change Alonso to a left midfielder? Let me have your thoughts, people. Let me have your thoughts. Man City. Man City are back to winning ways with that last rocket shot from Kyle Walker. That shot was worse than a bazooka. In fact, the bazooka is scared of that shot. Very wonderful strike to win the game. Now, there's one person I just want to talk about. Leroy Sani. My brother, you see, I feel so sorry for you. You know why. Ever since Joachim Lowe put you out of the squad, for Germany. You've been going like this. I'm sorry, I don't mean it in a bad way, I'm just saying. Let's analyze this, guys. The whole of this season, I just started a game. The last game, he didn't even make the squad. That's from Freipan to Fire. You think something is wrong with him and Pep Guardiola? I'm not sure. Because it doesn't really make sense to me. Whenever he plays, he's so exciting, he's so good. Do you know what? If they don't want you again, Arsenal wants you. We welcome you with open arms. Please come. It's even that bad now that Gabriel Jesus said that. Right now, he's even scared of his place. If a guy like Leroy Sané cannot even make the squad, he's also worried of his place because anybody could be benched. That's what you have for quality. Thanks a lot for watching my video. Like I always say, like, share, and subscribe, please. Thanks a lot once again for watching. Like I always say, lovers will be lovers, haters will be haters. If you love me, I love the idea. If you hate me, well, life is too short for hatred. Take care, guys, and be safe.